scientists discover a cell of origin that triggers every type of cancer. Sean Adeltabatabai reports on News Punch. Scientists have discovered the cell of origin, which is thought to trigger all types of cancer and allow the disease to spread. Laboratory tests confirm the cell cheats death and breaks out of a zombie-like state to create deadly tumors in the body. Daily Mail UK reports Salford University researchers have described their discovery as being like managing to find a proverbial needle in a haystack, but the findings, hope to rewrite medical textbooks on the growth of cancer, could be a blow to existing treatments such as chemotherapy. Professor Michael Lesanti, study author, said, we may have to press the reset button on how we treat cancer with drugs. He added, scientists talk about cancer being caused by dying cells coming back to life, so-called zombie cells. We now see it's more dramatic than that. In fact, it could be more accurately described as a prison break. In other words, this origin cell breaks out of line and runs amok, multiplying mal malignant cells and creating a tumor. And he warned some chemotherapy can endanger stem cells to proliferate more which may aid the growth of tumors. Two samples of human breast tumors were examined for the study, published in the journal Frontiers in Oncology. The scientists used fluorescent markers to isolate the most energetic cells taken from the samples in the laboratory. The tiny proportion of the cells, now branded energetic cancer stem cells, ECSC, had much more energy than others. They also had more stemness capability of creating a tumor and high levels of proliferation, rapid increase in numbers. It's certainly uh, clear, it's currently unclear how the rogue cells are able to break out of senescence, a process linked to aging that causes cells near the end of their lives to freeze and stop multiplying, and further tests are needed to prove any theory. But the researchers believe the ES, the ECS Seas, may use antioxidants and the mitochondria, a cell powerhouse, in order to launch an attack. Professor Lisanti said, it feels like finding the proverbial needle in the haystack, and it crucially gives us a new window on cancer and how we might stop it. Most cancer patients die because of the spread of tumor cells to distant sites known as metastasis. The evidence is increasingly that metastatic cancer stem cells fueled by mitochondria are responsible. Yet most chemotherapy targets the bulk cancer cells. Some chemotherapy even makes cancer stem cells proliferate more. Metastatic cancer, known as stage 4, is often not curable. Most treatments exist just to extend a patient's life. Almost 360,000 people in the United Kingdom and 1.7 million in the United States are diagnosed with cancer every year. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenge families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.